So we got what we expected this NBA season. I'll have a video tomorrow on how the Warriors' legacy looks going in depth on Durant. NBA vids all summer long, but this should be a damn interesting summer. As the media, NBA fans all over the world, we expect LeBron to change teams. I'll go through the pros and cons of each destination, list some under-the-radar teams that have a chance of attracting him, and then I'll make my prediction on where I think the greatest player in the game will end up. We just witnessed a legendary season from LeBron, debatably his best statistically. And even though Cleveland was swept in the finals, no one puts the blame on LeBron because it could have been the weakest team anyone in the history of the NBA has taken to the finals. Cleveland's front office had a mess of a year though, getting screwed in the Kyrie trade, only getting back the number 8 pick in terms of what will value their future and what they still have. A link in the description for the main reason I think LeBron will leave Cleveland, but time for the number one team in the King James sweepstakes. Pairing up with two all-stars, one his longtime friend CP3 and another who's in his prime, the league's leading scorer this past season, probably the MVP. Imagine Harden and LeBron paired up. Harden reportedly wants to transition into an off-ball role. CP3 is no longer in his prime physically, but we've never seen him as a third option. He hasn't slowed down his production statistically over the last few years. Bron and Houston would mean a lot more spot-up threes for Chris, which I'm sure he'd thrive with. He's always loved that shot. Instantly, you would have the talent to compete with anyone in the league. The cons are that only the top of your roster would be in place. GM Daryl Morey made a great trade for Chris Paul last summer. He's got to make a ton of moves so the Rockets have the cap space. With eight players signed right now, they only have 21 mil in cap space. LeBron requires significantly more than that. Where would this leave the rest of the roster? Does it even matter when you have that top three? This could be interesting. Stay tuned to see if Houston is the team I think he'll go to. The process was trusted and paid off in 2018. Blatant tanking before that. Philly now has a ton of young talent on the rise. Also a ton of cap space because Simmons is on his rookie contract for the next few years. The reason the Sixers are in this top three is because with everyone talking about LeBron going to Philly, I wanted to give my take on all this talk. Quite frankly, I'm not a believer in the Ben Simmons-LeBron combo. With LeBron going to Houston, he's going to be off-ball a majority of the time as well. But obviously, there's zero signs of a Ben Simmons jump shot. 11 three-point attempts this year didn't hit one. We expect him to play off the ball efficiently. That has a very little chance of beating the Golden State Warriors. Look, the fact that Philly is this considered in the sweepstakes for the best player on the planet just shows how the process was ultimately a great thing for the organization. But because of Simmons who can't shoot and Embiid who's pretty much always injured, I don't think LeBron is headed east to Philly. We'll get into some dark horse teams LeBron will consider, but if I'm betting on it, I'd say it's between the Rockets and hear me out with the Lakers. This is under the condition that Paul George joins LA, which he's shown a ton of interest in going home. I'm pretty sure he's going to do that. A look at the roster of the Lakers. Randall, Ball, Kuzma, and Ingram are all on rookie contracts. Lonzo could be a reason why this doesn't happen because of his jumper. But to beat Golden State, you need a multitude of athletic and talented young guys. If there is a formula to beat them, I think it would be that. Paul George is the second option who could greatly improve his game playing next to LeBron. Ingram would be your third option. Randall has shown flashes of star potential, would fit great as a fourth option offensively. Look, I think LA is a great attraction resurrecting Kobe's Lakers. Financially, it would be the right move for LeBron in terms of marketability. LeBron's had roles in movies. He owns a production company, Spring Hill Entertainment. Preparing for his second career could be something that also lures LeBron to LA. Coming up is my prediction, but the Cavs are my first dark horse team because in LeBron's interview after the finals, he brought up how his kids are older now and they may want to stay in their hometown. Whether or not LeBron's kids want to stay in Cleveland, I think they'll have an understanding of the importance of their dad's decision and not want to get in the way of it. On the off chance they don't, LeBron may stay a Cav. Next I have the Spurs and playing under one of the greatest coaches in NBA history and also beside Kawhi and Aldridge. That's a solid pitch, but the overall roster is pretty old. I hope he comes to the Raptors as a fan. I'm not putting them in this discussion though despite this report a few days ago. Hey man, bringing a title to Canada, that's a pretty damn good pitch. Lebronto, right? All right, time for the decision 3.0. Who is LeBron taking to the finals this year? I'll say the LA Lakers. LeBron has shocked the world with his decisions in the past, and I might be taking a risk here, but I think this is finally the offseason where the Lakers strike gold and sign King James and Paul George. Playing in LA has been a massive lure for free agents in every decade of the NBA. So far, it hasn't happened in this decade, but I think they've developed the proper fitting young players to attract first off PG, who wanted to play for LA anyway, and once they have him, 
getting LeBron becomes that much easier. Just my take. Houston, I think, would be fun throughout the season. But as much as I want to see CB3 win his first title, he hasn't been able to stay healthy in each of the last four playoff runs. This is something LeBron must foresee when making his decision. I think he does. That leaves the lure of LA. Let me know where you think LeBron is going, though. After my Warriors video tomorrow, it'll be time to make my draft content. Then I'll be bringing you guys all types of NBA stories. Leave a suggestion for a story down below. Have a great day. D-Flow signing off.